Hey everyone, uh, I know this is kind of a change of scenery, but I don't have any training footage for you because I'm on a three or four day long deload from my mock meet that I just did on Friday until Tuesday, which is the start of my pre-meet training. And um, I still wanted to have the chance to talk to you guys and answer some questions and make some clarifications. Uh, and I just don't have any training footage to use to do that, so I'll get right into it and say the things that I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about my current sponsorship situ sponsorship situation, my uh, training plans going into the meet June 8th, and what my bench pressing uh, was based on and what it kind of looked like for the last few weeks uh, to get me a 20 pound PR in my mock meet. So let's start off. Um, a lot of people know that I was sponsored by Universal and uh, Universal Nutrition and Animal Pack. Uh, I'm I didn't resign with them at the beginning of this year. I didn't make it a big public thing. I didn't make any public announcements or anything. Uh, we kind of had a mutual breakup, I guess. And um, I still think very highly of the company. I still think they care a great deal for their consumers and put a lot of passion into their products. But um, to just put it simply, I stopped taking supplements uh, for a long period of time and didn't see a whole lot of, um, didn't see a lot diminish from my performance and uh, since then have not been taking very much um, in terms of supplements. I still have some supplements left. Uh, most of them are unopened and most of them I just don't use anymore. I still take a joint supplement, I still take uh, some micronized creatine, and I still occasionally drink a protein shake, but other than that it's all um, actual food, recovery protocol, and training, uh, nothing else really. And so I had a bit of a moralistic issue with trying to represent a company whose products I didn't use. And so um, I stopped writing articles for them, I stopped doing that stuff, and we just didn't resign at the end of the year. I still think very highly of them, and I still think they're great people and sponsor athletes that are wonderful people as well, and uh, will remember the time that I spent with them positively and they took very good care of me and that's just the situation as it is right now. Um, as far as uh, the Strength Crew apparel that I've been wearing, I am currently being sponsored by Strength Crew which is a new company, basically just deals in apparel and online forum right now. Um, if you haven't checked out their website, strengthcrew.com, it's really a good place to get some solid information. Uh, ben Seath, who is a good friend and my training partner back home, um, is the guy who started it with uh, our friend Shukin, who lives down in New Jersey. And um, they're really, really focused on trying to uh, help educate people in strength sports, and that's the whole idea behind it. My friend and training partner here, uh, lightweight pro strongman Zach McCarley, is one of their athletes too, and he uh, frequently posts there and stuff and makes videos. So um, you can learn a lot about powerlifting, you can learn a lot about uh, strongman, you can learn about any strength sport you want, and they're trying to build that community up, so I encourage you to check that out if you haven't already, and it should be a lot of fun. As far as my training uh, for the next four weeks leading into the meet, I have it all written out here, and I can't really show you because that closet door opens the other way, but I have my, my routine planned out. It's going to be a CMS-based Shaco routine, uh, squatting twice a week, deadlifting twice a week, and then benching on every single one of those workouts and uh, my hope is to come in with at least an 1800 pound total raw at 198 using knee wraps so that's the plan that's the hope that's the goal everything i'm doing from here on until then is going to be based around making that goal a reality um, the last thing i want to talk about is what my bench pressing pro protocol has been for the last few weeks uh, to really bring up my bench I'm going to start off by saying it's not a program I got from someone, it's not a program that I have any kind of credentials to claim is super effective because I'm, as far as I know, I'm the only one who's ever done it. I made it up and um, I don't have anyone else I can point to as a success story. Uh, I'll tell you freely what it is and what my mentality was behind it, but I can't guarantee it would work for anyone else because I really don't know. It worked for me for the time I ran it and I'm switching to something else now. I will remember it fondly. Um, basically, it wasn't based on a percentage, it was based on what I called the weight of the week and adapting myself to handling a certain weight enough times that I was comfortable moving up to another weight. Um, I took five pound incremental jumps every week consistently, never took more, never took less, always five pounds up 
uh, just because I felt like I was adapting to that weight at that rate. I don't know how much longer I would be able to continue that kind of a progress because it is very steady and very linear and everyone knows that linear progression only goes to a certain point but for the time I was running it, it was effective and it did work and I got a 20 pound PR plus on my bench press. So here's the way I set it up. On a seven day week, I trained my bench press four of those days, did not do any accessory work, there was nothing else adding to this, it was only bench pressing. And I would work out my bench on days one, three, four, and six. On day one, I would do five sets of two, all paused reps, at the weight of the week. On day three, I would do three sets of five, touch and go reps, at the weight of the week two weeks prior. Day four, eight sets of two at the current weight of the week. And on day six, I would do three sets of five at the weight of the week. And so the way this, the way this looks is that I am handling the same weight, the same work weight, three of the four days, the first day for five sets of two, the next, the next day for eight sets of two, and then the final day for three sets of five. And so I'm going from doing sets of two with 10 reps total, sets of two for 16 reps total, to sets of five with 15 reps total. And so that is the way that the volume is laid out. That other day, the, the day three where I hit the weight from two weeks prior for those sets of five is kind of a deload and kind of uh, an opportunity to get a little bit more, um, just, just to feel a different weight in your hands because it would get monotonous doing the same weight every single session. But the idea behind it is that it was, I was taking four bench press sessions before I was increasing the weight, which a lot of people, you know, wow, five pound increase every week, that sounds, that, you know, that would be crazy to, to maintain. It's, it's a five pound increase every four sessions. And so I'm handling that weight. By the time I get back to the five sets of two the next week, it didn't feel that crazy to me because I was only doing 10 reps total. I had just done, I had just done five pounds less for three sets of five. Going up five pounds and doing sets of two doesn't seem that crazy to me. And it didn't feel crazy. My body really adapted well to it. And um, so for just for the sake of a real life example, week one, let's say I used 315 pounds. So day one, I would, I would do 315 for five sets of two. Day three, I would do 305 for three sets of five all touch and go. The next day, 315 for eight sets of two. And then the final workout day would be 315 for three sets of five. The next week, I would start with five sets of two at 320, and I would just continue that progress for the duration of my training cycle. Um, again, I didn't use any accessories. I was eating a lot of food because I was also running the small off squatting at the same time, the intense phase, which I was, I needed to eat a lot of food just to maintain that, and so that probably had an effect. And the fact that I wasn't using accessories, um, I can't say whether that was beneficial or or not. Um, I just was focusing so much on my bench press, that's how it worked. But uh, that's what I was doing. Um, I can't really tell you why that just came to me, like that was the, that was the way I was going to set this up. But it just felt, it felt like what I needed to be doing. And I ran with it and it ended up paying some dividends. Again, I can't tell you if it's going to work for you because I don't know. I just know that it worked for me for this this particular amount of time in this one instance. And uh, people have been asking me what I did, so now I told you. And you can implement any of those ideas at your own at your own risk, I guess. Um, but I can't really endorse the program because I made it up, and it just happened to work this one time for me. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, I'm not going to try to let the video get much longer, but thank you guys for watching. I will have more training videos up starting on Tuesday, leading from that workout all the way up until the meet day, and then I'll have the meet video up, and um, we'll be back to normal kind of posting then. So thank you again for watching. If you have questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. It's getting a little tough for me to keep up with everything just because the channel is starting to grow a little bit more. But uh, I will always try my best to keep up with you guys because I feel like um, it's really important uh, to me that you know what's going on and that I'm not trying to keep anything from you guys. So thanks again for your continued support. I appreciate all of it, and I appreciate you all. So I will talk to you on Tuesday. Bye.